Welcome back to uh, to another episode. Uh, I'm back here again at Wireside Fisheries on the River Lake again. So if you saw the last one, episode three, you would see I left here with one fish, and I said like, you know, I wanted to get back and have another go really. And today I got here about two o'clock. It is now. All past eight at night, and uh, by gum, what a day I've had! I've been chasing tench up and down that far margin, and uh, oh, I've seen some massive tench, massive tench, well over ten pounds. And I mean, they, they were used. There was pike, there's pike in there to like eighteen pound, and you know, they don't look weird apart. You know, they look. They're not as long, but by God, they were much fatter. By hell, they were big. So I had my fork rod all afternoon, chasing up and down that banking, baiting a few spots, seeing if I can get a fish. Not a chance. So I'm hoping tonight, I mean, peg 12 again, same as I was the last time. I'm going to give it one night here, in this peg. I'm fishing literally in the margins, left and right of me. I'm literally no, no far than four yard out, either rod. That's how we caught the last fish. Uh, and then tomorrow I think I'm going to move over to that far spot, which I'll, I'll show you. It is, I don't know if you can see it. It's actually, it's actually down there where I want to be going. Quite a way down there. That's where I want to be heading tomorrow. Um, there's a bit more of a margin, a bit deeper, and, but I've been seeing tents there all afternoon. You know, I see I saw three real big ones, massive fish, and I've also seen a lot of you know sixes and sevens. You know, just floating up, up and down, just mooching. So I'm like thinking tomorrow I think I'll have to move. So that's that's my plan for tomorrow I think. Well, that's the peg. I don't know if you can actually see the peg. You might just be able to see the end of it, I mean, it's, if I can do it with this, can I do it with this, it's there, it's the pig that I want, just there, and what I'll do, same again, I'll fish the margins, possibly use three rods, I'm only using two at the moment, uh, but I'm only fishing in the margins, I'm not fishing far out. There's no need to on here. I mean, it's not a massive water. There's a lot of carpers on here as well. And uh, the problem is with the carpers, you know, they, they tend to, you know, you get in the way of each other, like this peg here, you've got to be careful. Because I'm in the corner, you might get hemmed in from carpers casting from the fire bank to the other side. And uh, casting towards me, so I've just got to be a bit careful. But well, I think tomorrow, that's where I'm going to head. Um, I'm only travelling light, I've only got a bit of, bit of gear with me, so I can get it on the barrow, walk around with it. It's a 10 minute job. So that's what I'm hoping to do. But uh, the night's getting, it's staying lighter longer. I thought it was going to rain before, and some black clouds come over. I thought, oh god. But tomorrow the wind's in easterly, so it's coming across that way. So I don't know how that's going to affect things. I'm hoping it's not going to bother too much. But if you're a carper and you're watching this, this afternoon when I was chasing the tent up and down, every carp in this lake must have been down that far end on the river lake. I'm actually on River Lake, down the far end. You could see them all on the top. I was chucking boilers in, half a boilers in. You could see they were coming towards towards me if you will and it was eating them because I can tell because on my boilers they've got a lot of oil on them a lot of hemp oil so when they start chewing it with a bit of a ripple on it, it just it flattened it so they're obviously eating them with the, the carp but it was all down that far end this morning absolute loads of it black with so that's a quick update for you back on the tench I've had a couple of bream sessions, that done too bad. 
but I think the next bream session is coming from a big, big water. We're coming from a where well, there's a lot of doubles, big, big breaming. I hope if I can get there, depends if my brother wants to go with me. And we'll go together and I'll do a blog when I'm there. I can't tell you where it is because I'm not allowed to. But I'm hoping to get I know my mate did well. He had a couple of 16s out and an 11 pounder the last time he was fishing there, which was early in the week, well, end of last week. And he wants, one of my mates wants me to meet him for a social. So that should be fun. But, it's looking a bit clear, it's looking a bit brighter over there. So, if I get back to you in the morning, unless I get something in the night, I might show you in the night, if I can. Or if that would be the first thing. There's a bloody pike, a little jack pike, chasing everything around me. Just, all of a sudden, it just, just little fish just jump out everywhere. Bloody thing. Oh, he's a pain in the arse, he is. But anyway, I'm getting a new friend, a new duck. Scrounging for food. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you for the time being. No, but... I'll possibly show you the baits I'm using tomorrow and the rigs. They're all very simple. The baiting is very easy. But, uh, yeah, right, I've gone. Right, here we are then. First fish of the trip. It's, it's only a baby. It's only a 5.11. Over the moon with it really, to be honest. Just sit still for a second. Ah. 5.11 Happy chappy Nice, it's black as your hat on the top It's uh, come out the margin So I think later on Well I'm actually going to move now over there So I'm going to put this thing back And see if I can catch another one Let's see if I can get your grandad Your grandma So happy days Right, here we are then, back again. It is now. I don't know what time it is? It's Thursday evening, 25 past 7. As you can see, I'm actually in a different swim. I'll just quickly show you I'm in a completely different swim. So, I moved early this morning. After I uh, I showed you the fish, that's the only fish I've had so far from the far corner, which is down there. To be fair, I've not seen nothing today move or jump. I mean, I've been up and down the banking a lot. I've seen nothing. I I, was, I really really do think this is a patrol area for the tench. This this margin, because yesterday they were it were black wind. Absolutely loads of them, but the, we did have a, a southwesterly westerly wind blowing into this to this bank. Today it's been an easterly, so I'm hoping tomorrow when the wind changes back, which it's gonna do early morning, I'm hoping that <clears throat> I might be able to pick one or two out. But I'm fishing three, well, I've got three spots going, I've got two either side, I'm in the margins, and I've got one about 20 yard out in front of me, so some silt. So, I've had the one on the margin out most of the day. All I've had is raw, it's really pestering me, taking the maggots off in my hook on the rig of the corn, should I say. Uh, so, I've had to rethink my rigs. I've re basically I've had to put all new rigs on. I've got a KD rig on one rod. That's uh, 
two pieces of coin popped up with a hook laying flat you probably all know that that's a KD rig and then on the other one which is here I've not got out yet it's the both helicopter rigs I'll just, just quickly you've seen them all before I think no, I have an inline lead with a swivel on the end so I can tie a bag to it while not on this one because the silt's quite soft I uh, I've got an ounce lead you see an ounce lead so a quick change swivel notice with this lead I've still got the swivel on like I was saying earlier I normally have one with so I can tie a bag on the end to it to make it a maga liner but no, it's too soft. So I like that flexibility. So if that jumps into, the, you know, sticks into the sill on the cast, it, it's still loose and it, well, everything will still lie flat. That's the theory behind it. I don't know if it's going to work. And that's a buffer bead just there. Uh, the rig is different. If I can find where I put it. Oh, let's see. Uh, this is a different rig to what I normally use. This is Tony King's rig. Is this the T rig? Can you see the T rig? Uh, <clears throat> to be honest, I don't really use this rig as much as I used to do. But times are hard, and I'm struggling to catch a fish. So either the fish aren't feeding. I'm in the wrong spot. One of the two. But I'm gonna give it tonight, see what happens. This is the t like I said, this is the T rig. And I'm gonna use this with a lot of red maggots around it. Basically. In the margins. Well just out of the margins, but it's full of roach in here, little roach. I've been float fishing from today in between waiting for my alarms to go off and bloody it's like one a chuck. They're taking it on the drop. As soon as you cast in, boom, you've got one. And there's a lot of pike in here as well. Obviously, they're not keeping the numbers down like they should be, aren't the pike? And oh, they're a bloody nightmare, these roach. So that's why I've gone over to the uh, fake coin, fake maggot, to the T rig. And I'm just going to see if I can keep this out longer without it getting mullered. And see if I can pick up, leave it out, hopefully for the night. Hopefully, the tension might come along and. We can have some fireworks, but we'll have to see about that. It's uh, it's been quite warm but windy today, but we've had an easterly, and I'm the only person on this lake at this minute. There's no one else on, but I've seen no fish top. I've seen no fish in the margins. I've seen no fish on the top itself. All I've seen is the, the pike chasing the roach around. That's all I've seen. I've seen nothing else whatsoever. But uh, we'll have to give it a go. But on this rig, I'm going to be using one of my uh, stick mixes, which is just Tinder's Blitz Mix. That's all I ever really use for my stick mix. I find it great stuff. There we are, that's, that's basically it really. <coughs> like I see I've been doing a bit of float fishing. See if I can attempt a, uh, a tench with the uh, casters. Not a sniff. So, let's see how we get on. Because I'm in the margins, I'm using this rig. Well, I'm, it's, it's going to be a slack, completely slack line in this rig. So everything's on the bottom. But I don't want any tension coming in and bumping into the line in the night, giving me false bleeps. So it's going to be completely flat. And I'll just drop it in. It's only a rod length out. I'm just going to swing it out nicely and drop it in. And I hope there's some fireworks tonight. 
you know, I must be the unluckiest person on the year ever because every time I hear people come in here catch a tench, it's always a big tench. I always seem to get the six pounders, me. Could never get past the six pound mark. Well, I'm hoping the tench I caught this morning has been moved to another, another lake onto foxes, which I'll catch later in the year. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping there's going to be a few big ones around because yesterday, down this margin here, there were massive fish. Bloody hell fire, I mean, they were huge. I mean, I've had a £10 two, ten pound two tench, that's my PB, and that was a monster, but these things were just as big, if not bigger, you know. They had like a really small head and a real big gut. Double chinned, they were, they were big fish. They were big fish. The thing was, they were just sat there in the margins, over there, float fishing, trying to get them on the float, trying to stalk one out, but, nah, they were not having it. So, but I think this could be my last tent session until later in the summer. Uh, I like to have a month off in June, you know, June, a bit of July. Do all, do all the things. My favourite time of year, to be honest, is all of spring, March, April, and May. And then usually the back end, like June. August, September and October and the winter months. That's my best that's my favourite times of the year. But anyway I'm waffling. Let me get this out. Well I'll quickly show you my mix while you're here. It's not gonna scare you, don't worry. I think you've seen it all before. It's the same as the last you've been watching the ones where I've been doing a bit of brain fishing. That's basically there's a little red maggots, a lot of coin, casters hemp and that's it and the ground bait is just the uh, coconut mix from uh, bait tech I've got a big box of it there, a big, tub, a big bucket full mixed already, what I mixed it on with mineral water it's all been riddled and I just add it to this to give it a bit of stodge and I can get it out of this bomb if I need to, if not I just use my spoon and I sprinkle it in the margins where I'm fishing so there you have it and the other things I've got, I'll quickly show you, are these here. Boilies. I'm not really one for using a lot of boilies for fishing. But uh, I've had tench on these before as well. These are Bonoffi from Mainline. You know, I've done something to these. I don't know if you can see the bag. You see it's all a bit wet inside. Basically, there were a kilo of boilie in there when I first got them. Put the kilo of oil in and put some oil all over them. Uh, hemp oil, I know we put over, but in this case, I put the uh, the actual main line Bonoffi Bonoffi mix. I, it just makes them a little bit softer. It doesn't really make them look washed out, but it makes them go a bit milky colour, if you will. You know, not as they don't stand out as much, in my, only in my opinion. So I might even give these a go a bit later in the week. I'll see how we get on. Anyway, I need to get this rod out. I'll try and catch a fish for you. Next time you see me, I'm hoping to have a fish. So, I'll see you all soon. Well, there we are, boys and girls. Number two in the session. Yeah, it's only a small one, it's only £5.4. But I've worked hard for it. Beautiful colours, beautiful mouth. It's in tip top condition. And I'm absolutely over the moon to catch this one. So, let's hope there's a few more happy days. Right, chaps, or boys and girls. It's uh, that time again, it's seven, well it's half past, six, six minutes past seven and I am just packing up because I'm going to be off in a minute, getting picked up soon. Uh, unfortunately only two tench, nothing exciting, but like I said there's always next week, I might get on Sunday too, I might go on Foxes, I don't know yet, I'll have to see. But uh, as far as this episode's gone, we're done now. So it's two fish, better than nothing. Uh, so all in all, not too bad. It's just 
bit windy at the moment and it's it might even bloody rain but anyway thanks for watching I'll see you all soon hopefully with more fish to show you so for now see you later